Okay, in this video, I'm going to go over a couple different things to work with creating a photograph with limited color. So what we can do is we can, again, what we're going to find in Photoshop is that there's five different ways, ten different ways to do the same thing. So we start with our image, and what we're going to do to begin is we're going to take our lock and we're going to put it in the trash. No matter what, when we open up a file in Photoshop, it will lock the first layer. Then what I want to do is I want to come up and I want to come to Layer, Duplicate Layer. OK. Now I have two of the same layers. Turn one off, turn the other off. One, two. Now what happens is whichever layer is on the top will be actually visually be on the top. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the first layer into a black and white image. So I can come up to Image Adjustments and I will hit black and white. And I can see here I have my image if I'd like to. I can work with, you know, actually why don't we come into the blues because there were a lot of blues with lightening my blues, darkening my blues, whatever. You can play around with this. In this window, again, you can work with lightening and darkening, darkening these different colors. I'm going to hit OK. Now what I can do is I can come over here and I can take my eraser. Now the eraser works with numbers of pixels. So I could even up this a little bit and I could come in and I can erase the black and white so some limited color comes through. So what we can see, if I turn off this bottom layer, that's what I'm doing. I'm just erasing it. Now, the eraser that I'm using has a hardness of zero. And what that means is the edge is more like um, an airbrush, okay? So what I might want to do for this one is I might want to come in and use a hard edge. Okay, and now what, it, what would happen with that is I could zoom in and get these a little bit more. Now, a lot of times with this program, you're going to just zoom in and lower your pixels and come in and get exactly whatever it is that you need, even if you're down and just erasing one pixel at a time. Okay, so there's lots of different ways you could go about doing this. And there is just one. Now let's take a look at another way that you could create a limited use of color. What else I could do is I could take my black and white and I'm just going to do a couple different things in here. Let's say I wanted to have a little touch of green. Well, I could do that too. Okay, I could come on in, I could come, I could sample my green, pick a green that I want, hit OK, and I could come now and I could just get my paintbrush, which is right here. You can see there's the paintbrush. And I could lower the opacity of my paint to maybe about hmm, 40. And then I could come in and I could just paint certain portions of this to have a little bit of limited color. Okay, so there is a way to add a little bit of color to our black and white. The first thing we did was we did two layers and we erased part so the color would come through. The second thing is we're coming in and we are just painting. And there's a third. There's so many different ways to do the same thing in this program. And what you could do is you could just do a fill of color. So what I would do here is I could come in, take my quick select tool, start to just select an area. Oh, look, I have that area right there. Again, come in if I wanted to do a quick mask, I could hit quick mask. And with a quick mask, you come back to the brush. And whatever is the way that I have this set, and you can reset it, you can see that all my masked areas, um, color India is going to indicate the masked areas. Okay, the selected areas have no color and it will be this color at an opacity of 50. Okay, I think that makes sense. It can change it too. So if I want to add, let's say I don't want this to be included, I could add this to my mask. And what I would do is I would come, I would get my brush again. With black at the top, I can come in and I need to put this up to 50. I put up a little bit more. And I can add this into my selection. 
right, let's hit this one more time and we'll say that's all in the selection. Now, now what I could do is I come up to edit, fill, and I'm going to make it at like 50% and I'm going to tell them use the foreground color. Okay. All right. So, and then deselect. So that's another way to add a little bit of color. Thank you for listening. I'll leave it with that.